Having pretty thoroughly analyzed the case of short run type 2 cost curves in a competitive firm to profit, we're now going to consider short run type 1 curves. This also comes from the handout. I'll only consider two prices. It's useful for you to do exercises with other prices. Let's start with a price labeled P1. Again, this criterion that profit curves always start at minus fixed cost is the simplest one to remember, and it's always going to be the case. Let's look at this one. Is profit always going to be ever going to be positive? So profits equal to zero if average revenue equals average total cost. Average revenue for P1 is here. Average total cost is this curve. Pro average revenue is always less than average total cost. Profit is always going to be negative. Now the I've already drawn the answer. The answer is this curve labeled P1. So you can see that profits are always negative there, but that's the reason for it. Let's check this third criterion. We could do the second. Let's check the third. Compare margin revenue to marginal cost. Margin revenue is here. Margin cost is here. Except it's zero. Margin. Oops, let me draw that again. Except it's zero. Marginal cost is always bigger than marginal revenue. So marginal profit is always negative. So profit is always falling. And you can see in the in the bottom diagram the line little P1 profits always falling. Right at zero, essentially what this is saying is that you have a horizontal tangent line. So the total profit function comes in at let me get that a little bit better. Uh, comes in along a horizontal tangent. That's all that's saying. But basically, after that point, profit is going to be falling. You really don't need to look at the second criterion, but let's let's do it just to be complete. So the second criterion is determining where are there any other points except for Q equals zero where profit is going to be minus fixed cost. So you compare price to average variable cost. So price is here, average variable cost is here. The only place where they equal is at zero, where you already knew that profit equals minus fixed cost. From that point on, average variable cost is bigger than price, and so profit's going to be minus fixed cost. But you already knew that profit's going to have to be minus fixed cost because of the, the marginal criterion that profit would be falling after that. So this doesn't really add any new information. So that's the way I got the line labeled P1. Now let's look at the line labeled P2. Again, we start at minus fixed cost. So we're aiming to explain P2. It starts at minus fixed cost. Let's check, is profit ever equal to zero? So compare price or average revenue to average total cost. Price is P2. Average total cost is here. So we have two crossing points at A and at C. A and C are points of zero profit. Between A and C, average revenue is bigger than average total cost, so profit's positive. And that's the way I've drawn this. You have positive profit. If you were else, at, that is to the left of A or to the right of C, average total cost is bigger than average revenue, and so profit's negative, which is the way I drew it on the left. So that explains that criterion. Let me erase the marks now and go to the next criterion. The next criterion, I'm going to skip number two and and go to number three. Look at 
price or margin revenue margin cost see where profit is rising and falling so margin revenue is here margin cost is here at point B they meet to the right of point B marginal which is here so to the right of point B marginal cost is bigger than marginal revenue so profit has to be falling to the l left of point B marginal revenue is bigger than marginal cost so profit has to be rising and now if you look at the bottom graph that's what I did to the left of point B profits rising to the right of point B profits falling so that explains that let me erase these marks then and get to the last criterion so the last criterion which as I said is usually the least important is comparing profit with minus fixed cost in other words uh, price to average variable cost price is P2 average variable cost is here I didn't use this criterion when I drew this graph as you see there actually is a point where these lines meet that point is here to the right of that point well right at that point average revenue equals average variable cost and so profit should be minus fixed cost right at that point now I didn't draw that I didn't draw the the, the curve appropriately but if I had let's see what point it would go through let me draw those lines so I just drew the line down from the top graph where average revenue equals average variable cost all the way all the way to the bottom graph <clears throat> and then the bottom graph I drew the minus fixed cost line and so the correct P2 uh, curve ought to go through that point so this would be a more correct diagram for P2 it should be going through that point now if in most cases if you ignore this criterion that is the second criterion it's not a big deal and you see when I was drawing this graph I ignored it myself it's the other criteria that are more important but the sec but this criterion can give you even more detail about where the total profit curve looks like